Hey mom and dad, we're going to go for a walk in my garden path. The neighbors have cleared out quite a bit here. Uh, they're going to use this for their kids, put a trampoline and stuff like this. Um, they use the old maple tree that fell down. You can see the ends of it for a bridge. So they don't actually have to build a bridge over here. But anyway, my path starts here at the little clearing. Where we have our sandbar in the upper parts of the river. This is all in raised property. You can see he's done quite a bit of work. Anyway, we're gonna start along my path. Uh, I saw two garter snakes here earlier on the upper part of the path. This is the lower part or the beginning. Anyway, this is me. I've cleared this out with the mower and this is my evening work. I work on here every evening. I work on my little path. So some really big trees. And so there's another little quiet flat spot in the river. And here is the big stump and their kids used to play in there. There's an empty hollow back there they can crawl in and play in the stump. It's kind of cool. And there's my fall dump where all the windfalls have gone and all the branches and everything I've cleared out along the path. And you can see there's our house. Not our house, but our house. And there's the big stump. It was quite a big stump. It's too bad they cut giant trees like that right next to the gosh darn river. It's really sad. And so you can kind of continue on along here. This is uh, probably two or three works, week, weeks worth of work in the evenings. And you, this is the hardest part of the trail here. Um, you can see that I'm going to have to build a rock wall and fill it all in to get the mower by here easily. It, I can get it by, but it's tough. Um, I took the rototiller and took down this big lump. You can see that. And then you can see that the mud I'm using kind of as a cement-like substance to uh, fill in the trail. And there's the, the buckets that I'm using. And what I'm doing is, is up near the upper part of the trail, there's, I'm building a pond. And so I'm digging out all the mud and the muck. And uh, we'll go look at that. So we come along here and we join up near the old car. There's the old car to the path from our house. So that's race part of the path. And uh, there's ours, and then we're gonna go this way. It's about, about a six minute walk at a good pace. I'm moving at a pretty good pace right now. This is right before the meeting that you have with Steph on the Zoom for ID theft or whatever we're doing. I had 15 minutes to kill, so I decided to walk my little path. Anyway, it gives me much happiness. The whole trick about the path is I can ride the mower down. Otherwise, there would be, like, this whole place would be full of nettles. And so, up here, if I walk carefully, maybe we can see the garter snakes. Two, I saw two snakes in the past. Stephanie pointed out one. I saw him this morning, or this just now, when I walked this way the other way, the other side. And then I saw another garter snake. And so whenever I find a garter snake now, I'm going to release him on my path. It's very cool. So it's just kind of a really nice little walk. I have a whole bunch of windfall to get from all that, so all that stuff from clearing the path. All these dead branches I'll get rid of eventually. Had to saw through a number of trees. And right there is a swamp. Right, running right along here, along the path. I'm along the edge of the swamp. And that's the starting of a north fork of the Union River.
Northeast Fork, I believe it is. So here's the swamp again. It comes around here and it goes right there. And so I've cleared all this out, cleared all the, all the bushes out. So it'd be a nice open space. And then eventually I hope to be able to clear this hill. There's a little hill right there underneath all that vegetation. I want to put a little, maybe a little garden house or something like that. But anyway, the swamp comes right along here. And there's a, you can actually see there's a, a little river hidden under all this brush. And this nasty plant right here covers all, all the water. And so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'd like to clear it out so that I can see it. This is a long-term project. Here's where my little pond is going to be. And you can see that I've started there are six five-gallon buckets worth of worth of uh, dirt digging right there, and it goes down quite far. So I'm in, I'm digging it, I'm digging it a good six inches a foot down, then it fills in. Anyway, I hope to make this all a pond. Who knows if I can? I need dirt for my path anyway. So I thought I just heard a snake right there. I can hear somebody in the bushes. Let's see if I, I gotta stop being quiet and see if we can find the snakes. They're right up here. They come out and sun themselves on the path. That one was right around here. I don't see him. And then I have a couple deer along here too. I bought a trail cam that I'm going to install so I can look, watch at night and see if I can see my deer. Ah, no snakes. Oh, there he is. He's right there. There's one of them. There, there's one of your snakes. So that was the other one over there that I heard. Anyway, walking along here, this is where I had to dig out like 30 ferns. And I still have to get rid of a couple because the mower hits them. And there's a big stump right there. That's a piece of poop. Got to get rid of that. Had to take out a lot of, a lot of snags and stuff. A lot of, a lot of ferns. I moved the 30 ferns. I didn't just cut them down or kill them. And then there's the Bruce and Lila's house and Cameron's greenhouses. And we're coming right to the end of the path. And so what I hope to do is I'd like to start a return through, like right here. Start a return path. This is That's where the old path used to go. But see all these ferns all the way through there? It's really interesting terrain. It's much different than what we, we just went kind of a, kind of a meadow swamp area here. This is all deep woods, and it goes through all the cedars, and I'd like to make a, a path right through, a return path right through there. Anyway, you can see I'm filling in because there's giant roots and stuff like that so that I can drive the mower through here because without the mower, it's impossible to keep it clear of the nettles and undergrowth. Anyway, and there we are. I'll be mowing the lawn today because, well, it's time. Love you guys. Bye. April 29th, 2020. Walk on, the, on my path my, that I'm building during the COVID quarantine that everybody has to stay inside. And uh, I'm uh, making use of my time.